but you owe God. You don't mind owing people from. You don't want. You don't mind owing people. You don't mind owing money from people when we're owing someone from God, something from God. When we have been bogged down by the word business, by the word marami akong ginagawa, God understands. Anyway, isa lang naman ako sa tao na napakaraming tao na nga ako sa kanya. Siguro yung iba na ako lang. My, I'm just part of the minority naman siguro. At saka God understands. At saka God is still blessing me eh. Wait. <laughs> Because God will demand it. <clears throat> God will demand it, listen to me, not in His anger, but still in His love. I'm not painting you a picture of God who's cruel. I'm painting a picture of a loving God. And I believe that everything that God does is out of His love. Why? Next slide. Because these are the importance why we should keep our promises to God. Number one, because God demands it. Number two, it glorifies and pleases God. If you want to do anything that brings a smile, will bring a smile in the face of God, do it. Fulfill what we have promised Him. <coughs> And number three is true. Why? Because fulfilling the promise, will it make God gather? <laughs> By fulfilling our vows and our promises to God, will it, will it make God bigger? No. Will it make God more God? No. By fulfilling our promise, we are even making ourselves better. Right? Meron bang nag-promise sa inyo, Lord, if you will fulfill this promise, I will kill myself. Meron bang nag-promise na ganyan? Ay, kung meron pag-uhin niyo. Di ba naman ang promise natin eh, Lord, if you will, uh, if you will do this for me, I'll go to church every Sunday. Is that bad? No. Especially this church? <laughs> <laughs> when you bow to God, the Lord, just do this for me. I will go to church every Sunday. Is it bad to go to this church? <laughs> Does it punish you to go to church? <clears throat> Lord, if you will fulfill this vow, I promise you I'll read my Bible every day. Is reading the Bible bad? <laughs> Para bang sinabi mo sa nanay mo, Nay, bigyan mo ako ng baon, kakain po ako. That's what makes sense, ha? Hindi naman yung nanay mo kakain ikaw. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Di ba? Fulfilling our promises benefits us. Hello? Tapos na. Dala na ba ko? Pero tama, di ba? Make sense? Make sense? Make sense? It's for us. Fulfilling our promises for us. Ito ang huli. Ito ang icing ang huli. Ito, ito pang, ito yung kill. Fulfilling our promises calls for renewed <coughs> blessings of God. We see that, man. Can you talk? 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 Ronnie, you give me another twenty. Come on, ka. Para pagam utang na loob ko pang kumain siya. Huh? Sabi ni Ronnie, yes, Dad. If you give me that twenty, I will eat. And I promise you, I will eat. <laughs> Ngayon ang nakita kong kumain siya. Wow, Ronnie. Ito pa 20. No wonder. 
Sampai ke si Jarlis kayak keren bilang, oh merah tambah hotif deh. Same with God, God blessed us and we said, God, we will do something to improve ourselves. Self-improvement for our own good. And when we do what we promise to God, God will give us, well, God will give us bonuses of blessings. Ito ba yan, Pastor? Ito, basahin na. Genesis 35, 9-11. Matthew? No, 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 Genesis. Matthew? Genesis 35, verse 9. Renewed. Kung baga, nanalo ko na dati, pinapanalo ko pa uli. Yung pag gano'n mo, chiching. Pag gano'n mo, chiching pa rin. Nag-chiching na nung gumano, nag-chiching pa naman. It doesn't happen in a regular slot machine. Only with godly slot machine. Don't you try it in Las Vegas. Nandito ang mga heavenly slot machines. Then God appeared to Jacob again. Hindi para pagkahitan. When he came from Adam Aram and blessed him. Verse 10. Bilisan mo magic blessing yun eh. Ano sa first na bilis, bilis eh. Mas bilisan natin ngayon, blessing to. Tsaka natatawa na tao, kanyang tahimik eh. And God said to him, Your name is Jacob. Your name shall not be called... Because Jacob means... Actually, sorry. Overthrower. Schemer. Jacob will be Israel now. So your name is not anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. So he called his name Israel. Verse 11. Binago. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall proceed from you. And your kings shall come from your body. Hallelujah. Look at the blessings. Twelve. The land which I gave Abraham, Isaac, I gave to you and to your descendants after I gave this land. This was after he made his vow in Genesis 35, uh, uh, earlier verses 13. Then God went up from him in the place where he talked to him. Verse 14. Then Jacob set a pillar in the place where he talked to him, pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering on it, and he poured oil on it. Last verse. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spoke to him, <clears throat> Bethel, the house of God. Bottom line. Forget about the curses that we have read earlier. Bottom line. If we fulfill to God our forgotten vow, there will be a renewed blessings of God in our lives. Amen. Remember, we already received it. But if we fulfill the end of the bargain, there is an additional bonus from God. Did we learn anything this morning? Amen. 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 Is it hard to swallow? No. Is it bitter? Bitter pill are always good. It heals us. Let's bow our heads. Father God in heaven, we thank you that you are the father of love. Not the father of hate. Not the God of punishment. Not the God of wrath or anger, but the God of love, grace, mercy. This morning, 
Holy Spirit, remind us. Because you want to give us the extra bonus of a blessing before the year ends. Amen. Lord, as a hoper, we want the storage of our blessings for 2016 all empty before the year ends or the last day of this 2016. We do not want any blessing reserved for us for 2016 uncollected, unredeemed. We want it all redeemed and joyed by your people. So through our enjoyment, the less fortunate, the kids and the seniors can be blessed too. Father God, in the name of Jesus, right now, Holy Spirit, touch our hearts. Brothers and sisters, have you been reminded of your promises to God today? Is the Holy Spirit urging you? As God told and appeared to Jacob one day and reminded him, I pray that the Holy Spirit will appear to you this morning through the urging in our hearts to remember what we have promised and to keep it, to fulfill it. Father, first of all, on behalf of your people, I say and we ask, we repent and we ask that you forgive us. Patawarin mo po kami kung meron kaming mga naipangako sa iyo na hindi namin natupad. Lord, forgive us if we have made some promises and vows that we have not fulfilled after you have fulfilled all your promises. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive your people. Forgive us, Father. And cleanse us. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. But God, your word still stands the same when you said you will demand it one day. God, if you are demanding what we have promised you right now, we pray that you give us the strength to fulfill our end of the bargain. Brothers and sisters, I did not make that promise. I did not make that vow. You did. Now let you be the one who talked to God and said, Lord, I am renewing my vow. I am renewing my promise. Let us turn the lights down and let the solemnity of the place be observed. Let the sanctity of the place be observed. I don't want us to leave this place unchanged. I don't want us to leave this place unconvicted. This is a church. The presence of God is here. And I want every one of us to leave this place freed. Freed Amen. from the bondage of curses. Amen of unfulfilled vows. Father God, if we may, allow us to renew our vows to you. Allow us, Father, to renew our promises to you. Talk to God right now as you bow your heads. No? Don't look at me. Bow your head and close your eyes. Now renew your promise to God. Renew your vow to God. Remember when you were sick? Remember when your kids were sick? What did you promise Him? Remember when you are in a crisis, near death experience, you promised God something? Remember when you are in a need, you promised God something? God 
ears. God is in front of you hearing what you're telling him. And he is again taking your word and he is again taking our word seriously. And God said, I will take your word. And even before you fulfill your end of the bargain, I will bless you. I will fulfill my promises to you. For you to know that I am God and I am true. Amen. That I will keep you from all harm and anyone who plans to harm you. I take your word seriously for I know you can and I know you will for I believe in you says the Lord. From out of you blessings will flow. From out of you people's lives will be blessed. From out of you and out of your generosity and out of your givings and out of your faithfulness, future pastors will be born. Christians will, people will be born again because of the life that you're living. Because they will see the blessings of God in your life and they will become interested in me. My glory will shine in your life, God says. The glory that outshines the sun will be in you. For you are my beloved and you are mine. And I will keep you in perfect safety, says the Lord. For I walk before you, I walk behind you, I am at your side, I am all around. Even before you go, I am already there. Because I promised I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. Walk on my precept and walk on my laws. That you may enjoy the fruit of the land. That the blessings that I have proclaimed to Abraham might fall upon the church. And you are my church. For the time is coming. And it is now, says the Lord. That I will elevate you amongst the peoples of the earth. That the world may know that my church my body will stand and the gates of hell shall not prevail Amen. against it. Lift your head high for I have given you the confidence. The confidence that springs not from your resources, not from your might, not from your power. But you can do all things through Christ strengthens you. Walk and never be afraid. Move forward and don't be slow for I am about to cause a breakthrough in Amen. your life. Kings will come to your lightnings. People in the dark will be attracted with the glory shining in your life. Because I am alive, you are alive. Shake off your dead clothings. Put out your dead clothings and put on the armor of light. For I will be with you, says the Lord. I will be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The presence of God is here and we cannot take it sitting down. Come on, let's stand up. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot take it sitting down. Because His love never fails. Never.